Welcome! It's been exactly four weeks since I started on this journey. This week, I took a little break from the renovation to harvest tilapia from our other system. We didn't have to work very hard to catch our fish, especially with the help of my daughter. There's so many. How many have you got? In I don't there? know. I think there's like five. Wow. <laughs> I cleaned over 30 tilapia that are plate size and there were a couple other dozen little ones that I will use for uh, to make stock for soup later. So you know what I'm going to be serving for Christmas dinner. The playhouse system is doing great at the moment with over 500 baby tilapia. They're so cute and they're always hungry. I'm a little bit stuck on how to make an enclosure around these drum filters to keep in, keep in the heat, especially as it gets colder. I'm so tempted to just around the area with a sheet of plastic, but I need to get access in order to clean out the filters. So something I have to think about. Turning my attention towards the in-ground system because I have catfish that are ready to move in ASAP. First things first, I need to add more filtration. I built a radio flow filter and a biological filter. Amazon delivered the final piece of Uniseal last night, so I was able to complete the plumbing. Speaking of the plumbing, I had to reconfigure everything in order to accommodate the two new filters, an, F an NFT trough, and two grow tubs. Let's talk a little bit about the pump and then I'll explain the plumbing. It's an 800 gallons per hour pump. I got a two gallon bucket and drilled a bunch of holes at the bottom and the side. This will help keep out large debris and small fish. So basically water is pumped up and then split into three paths. First, some water is diverted to the spray bar to help aerate the pond. The second inlet goes to this media bed. And finally, most of the water goes to the radio flow filter, which will allow heavier solids to settle at the bottom. This valve allows solids to be removed. Water then flows to the biofilter through this two inch pipe. From there, water will go to three places, to the media grow bed here, and also this is going to, this is going to be where the NFT trough made out of rain gutter, and finally, the overflow will go back to the fish tank, but not before it goes to these grow tubs. Can you believe that these tubs actually fit perfectly as if I had planned it? Phew, so that was the plumbing. I think explaining it was actually harder than doing it. So if you didn't get that, don't worry. I'm sure I'll talk about it again in future videos. I am starting the cycling process now with water from the playhouse because it has ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate. So there's no fish in there right now. I'm doing a fishless cycling. It is just so exciting to see water flow as planned. I think it's just so magical. Well, this is all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a Merry Christmas. Bye.